The degrees that you're undertaking are primarily practice-based degrees and therefore practice is an essential part of the course that you're taking. So we will be giving you a range of practice experiences which will allow you to embed the theoretical knowledge that you've learnt while in the faculty into your practice learning environment and to bring back questions from practice to explore further through theory in the classroom. So it becomes a reciprocal relationship, it becomes a relationship of taking evidence into practice and then bringing evidence from practice back into the classroom. The number of practice hours that you'll need to do as part of your course will depend on the programme of study you've selected. If you've decided to do physio, OT, podiatry, you will do about a thousand hours of practice over your three years of your training. If you're doing a healthcare scientist course, it will be 1,400 hours. And if you're doing nursing courses, it's 2,400 hours of practice. You will be given a range of practice experiences um, across a number of different settings so that you begin to understand the patient's experience of illness. So you understand care of the patient in their own home, care of the patient in um, facilities which are day services, services where the patient is an inpatient and rehabilitation services. So you'll really meet patients in a range of settings and because of that you will do placements across a large geographical area. Each of you when you go into practice will have a number of learning outcomes that you'll be required to meet and they will be specific to the programme that you are following. What those learning outcomes will do will give your practice educator or the mentor who's going to be working with you very closely in practice a good knowledge about what it is they need to teach you, what it is they need to supervise you doing, and what it is they need to sign you off at the end of your placement as competent to it, that you can perform. Some of those competencies will also be graded, and that grade will be added to your degree classification. So in other words, you can't get a first class degree in a practice-based subject without being first class in both theory and in practice.